This small, impoverished country with a one million man army is telling the world that the march to conflict is now unstoppable. Full scale war with the United States, reads this poster. It's an angry message in North Korea's own inimitable style. We will mercilessly destroy America, this soldier says. The rhetoric coming from a government with an untested young leader at the helm is certainly troubling, but few are taking it at face value. The message to foreign embassies to consider evacuation has so far been roundly ignored. No one is taking these latest warnings from North Korea seriously, it seems. Here in South Korea, the government says it is not aware of any foreign embassy making preparations to leave Pyongyang. The consensus is that this is simply more bluster, the drumbeat of war for political effect. So the threats and tension are designed to send a message to America to back off over its military exercises south of the border and to Kim Jong-un's own military generals, according to the only British minister ever to have visited North Korea. That the new leader, Kim Jong-un, uh, is trying to, in, in his own terms, uh, demonstrate his strength both externally to the international community, uh, but also internally to the military, who play a significant role uh, within the regime. It's a reassuring analysis. North Korea wants not real war, but just a sense of crisis to rally its people to an untried and untested young leader.